Hello, thank you for joining me. I just arrived on the train we just saw depart here at Shepherd's Well today. The reason I've come here is because as the sign says, it says a light here for the East Kent Railway. And that's exactly what I've done. So we've arrived at what appears to be a really nice, attractive little country station. The East Kent Railway is over there behind those trees. It's um, quite an interesting railway because it's one of the Colonel Stevens light railways. He was a gentleman who built various light railways around the country. Some were standard gauge, some were narrow gauge. Um, so probably his most famous is the Kent and East Sussex, which um, obviously is quite a well-known heritage line. But the East Kent was another one of his built, quite a late one built, built as late as 1912 and um, was open until 1986 because it served the colliery and then when it closed it became heritage line. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up over the bridge and round out the front of the station to find the East Kent Light Railway. We've got a nice old latticed footbridge here. The station is um, fully accessible because there is another entrance just down there. There's the long tunnel we've just come through. So that's looking towards Dover that way. And um, I'll just show you from here while we're on the bridge. Looking north is towards Faversham. You can just see the summit. So if a steam train came through, it'd be working quite hard till it got to that summit. And then the steam loco would be able to shut off and roll down the hill through Canterbury towards Faversham. It's a really attractive little station. I like this station I've never been to before, passed through a couple of times. You can see a signal box up there as well. Um, so we've got to find our way out. I think the exit is over here. Make a nice house this station. I wouldn't mind living here. So I'll let you have one last look at the main line. You can just see the signal box. The wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. So as we come out here, I believe he's, yeah, there's a South Easterner put a sign up which is very good. It says East Kent Light Railway, so there's no uh, question of what way to go, which way to go. There's the front of the railway station. So let's go and um, go and ride the East Kent Light Railway. Never ever been here before, so as I record this video, I am seeing it all for the first time. Interesting here, we have a few narrow gauge wagons, um, must be a nod to the line's collieries which it served. I believe there used to be a big goods shed here, from looking at an old picture, somewhere around here there had been a goods shed um, for when you know there used to be the pick up goods. So here we have some narrow gauge coal wagons, that's interesting, it's like a, a pump truck but it's got a, um, never seen one quite like that before. So, oh, and there's a train about. Oh, there's a javelin. And there's the signal box. I can actually see, it's very faint, but it still says Shepherd's Well in Network South East colours. So, railway station down there. So I think that's where we're going to go to get the um, standard gauge train, but let's just have a, what's this? this looks, oh look, East Kent Miniature Railway. It doesn't look like it's running today, but there is a miniature railway. I can see the standard gauge train down there at the station. Let's just have a little walk around here first, and then um, we'll go down there. So that miniature railway, it looks like it just goes up there, so it's quite a short one. I think they have got a longer miniature railway here, which um, I'm hoping we'll have a ride on, but we'll, we'll see. So there's actually a triangle of lines here, so there's some track that went that way to join the main line. The East Kent Rail itself goes off in that direction. So let's just see what we find down here. And then um, we'll go and have a look. We'll go and have a ride on the train. We've got a steam loco, a little industrial steam loco. We've got an OH shunter, a couple of other diesel locos. I already quite like this place. Model railway. I'm going to have to go and have a look at that. To let you see the steam engine. So I seem to have brought you down here into the yard. Um, what I think we'll do, we'll walk just 
to up here and then I better go and find out when the train is running, buy my ticket and um, we can go for a ride. And then um, yeah, we'll look, there's a wooden wall, they must be up over there. So here, quite an interesting array of equipment we've got here. Oh, look, Woodland Miniature Railway. I'm just going to have a ride on that as well. So, here we go, oh, Richborough Castle. Now, the East Kent Light Railway did once go as far as Richborough, and at Richborough there was um, a power station um, which was demolished a few years ago. Here we have another little loco. This one's called Snowdown, which is the name of the station further up the railway. I'm going to go now, buy my ticket, and we're going to go for a ride. train has arrived. Quite an interesting mix of rolling stock and locos. We had um, former Southern Region EMU carriage on the front, then there's a Mark II brake coach. There's a rather interesting looking um, diesel loco. I've never had one of these before. I think they're XMOD, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, my knowledge more covers um, the BR locos. I, there's so many industrial locos, I, I just um, don't know sort of uh, too much about them. Interestingly, there's a pacer up there, newly, fairly newly arrived. I never ever thought I'd see a pacer this far south. There's snow down again, like we saw a moment ago from the other side. What we're going to do, we're going to walk up, um, it's quite interesting, on oh, there's Richborough Castle again. We're sort of in the apex of the two lines here. There's another 08 shunter there. We'll have a look at what's um, the other side of the loco and carriages when we get round there. I'm just going to take you round this way first, so we'll go and have our ride. Um, and then what, what I'm going to do after we've had a ride, we'll go on the miniature railway, but I'm going to put that in a separate miniature Railway Britain video, so that won't be in this video. Here's another um, ex-army diesel loco. And here's another loco, like the one we're going to travel behind. I think the model railway is in that carriage there, so we'll go in there, see what we can find. Here's an 08 shunter. There's that steam loco, industrial steam loco again. So it's quite an interesting mix of um, of different locos and rolling stock. I don't think it's the sort of place where you're going to see sort of big former BR steam or diesel locos, but we're going to see lots of interesting stuff. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the model railway, see what we have to see there. I'm just going to put my mask on. Um, so I'm just going to stop filming for a second. I'm going in there now. Put on a bit better. There we go. Hello. What I'll do, I'll, um, I'll do some static shots which I'll put in, but let's just have a walk through. That's a really impressive layout. And there's another carriage which goes through to here. And they've got, well, an N gauge layout. Um, so there's an N gauge layout. Like I said, I will put some other, and we've got a G scale layout. Well, I'm going to put some other shots in, so. Um, oh, well, mate. Thanks, thanks. 
and then there's one more layout. So I'm going to get some shots and I'll put them, put them into the video now.
I just enjoyed seeing the uh, model railways of double O gauge, N gauge and G scale. That way would take us back to the main station, but of course we've come here to have a ride on the standard gauge East Kent Railway. So as it's fine, there's two of the trains, that's exactly where we're going to go. We're going to go down this nice leafy road, which will take us down to um, the railway station where we're going to catch our train. So where, where we saw it come in, that was from the picnic area, the other side of the station. So um, you can just see our train is waiting for us there. Should we take it down here the first? And um, there's a couple of things I wanted to show you. We've got a little Peckett steam loco. We will see the front in a moment, but it's this that I really like. It's a thumper. It's actually 205001, so the first one they built. And um, I do remember these in service. Um, so for me, it's nostalgic to see one. I never travelled on one in service, but I do remember them. Interesting view of a Thumper 08, and I can just see a Pacer in the background, and of course the Peckett in the foreground. So as we come out here, and um, get a better view here, there's the Peckett. There's another 08 shunter, and over there is our train. So. I've got to go to the ticket office and buy my ticket to have a ride up the line to. I've just boarded the train, I'm in my first class compartment, so it, it's um, just me, so I don't, I've been told I don't need to wear face covering. It's very nice this first class, so I'm enjoying, looking forward to enjoying the ride for what's going to be a four mile round trip up to Iform. I've been told we can't get out of Iform for Covid reasons, which is fair enough, I'm happy enough to be riding on the train. Let's have a look out there, so I stood to see the train arrive and see all the diesel locos out there, so um, we're now going to go for a ride up the line to Iform. have um, arrived at Eforn Station, um, which is where the current end of the line. Just see in the bay platform there's some interesting railway vehicles which I'm going to show you as we go past. If you have a look, I know it's fairly hard to show you, um, but if you have a look beyond the signal box there's a level crossing, the track does carry on and there is plans to extend the railway up to Tillman Stone Colliery, which was where the line ran to until 1986 when it was still used for train. So what we've got to do now, we've got to wait and um, we're soon going to travel back to Shepherd's Well. As we depart the station there's a couple of things, there's some very interesting bits of rolling stock in that bay platform. So I'll show those to you as we go past and I'm going to enjoy the ride back down through the tunnel to Shepherd's Well. And when we get to Shepherd's Well I'll do the second part of this video, which will be a separate video. We're going to go and have a ride on the miniature railway. So we're just now waiting to depart iPhone Station. The driver will go to the other end. Um, the diesel loco is going to propel us back as we saw when we saw the train arrive at Shepherd's Well. And if you're wondering why there's two of me, that's because there is a giant mirror 
in this carriage. So um, we've just got to wait now for the journey back to Shepherd's Well. So here we are at I-4, this is the current end of the line. We're just about to depart and head back to Shepherd's Well. The track does continue beyond Ifawn Station um, for a, about half a mile or so. There is a talk of extending it to Tillmanstone Colliery, um, where the line ran till until 1986. Whether that will happen or not, I don't know. I just want to show you a couple of things here. We have a rather interesting looking electric locomotive. I remember when this was at the um, at Coventry Railway Centre, or also known as the Airfield Line or the Electric Rail Museum, and so was this vehicle. This is um, a prototype diesel electric multiple unit carriage. Um, so they were bought here when that was closed. What we're going to do now is um, we're just going to enjoy the journey back down through the tunnel to Shepherd's Well. And um, when we get to Shepherd's Well, um, I'm going to record another video, a trip on the Miniature Railway. So do watch out, the Miniature Railway video will be coming soon. I've really enjoyed my trip though on the East Kent Light Railway. So thank you very much for watching. Do come and visit them. Um, please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.